All right, let's do this. 415, what are the connections? Checking the connections. In the last several lessons, you have been finding connections and relationships between different types or different representations of patterns. You have worked backwards and forwards. You have also used information about figure zero, which is also called the starting point, and the pattern of growth to write rules. In today's activity, you will use the pieces of information from various parts of the web to generate the complete pattern. Uh, the web meaning uh, just changing from one pattern to the next. Okay, This is the web right here. You should be pretty good with going from graph to rule to table to graph to all these different ways. Okay, That's what we're going to focus on today. So problem 442. Problem 442 is a problem we're going to be doing today during the video and all day tomorrow, and it is going to take us the whole time to just do this one problem. So we're going to start it today. Today you are going to apply what you know about the starting point, which is figure zero. Ooh, big thing. Starting point or figure zero, and the pattern of growth, and the connections between representations to answer some challenging questions. The information in each question, parts A through D, describes a different pattern. So all of these are different patterns, all the ones. The one we're doing tonight is going to be different than the one you're doing tomorrow, the, the several we're doing tomorrow. The graph of each pattern is a line, so they're all linear. From this information, generate four things. Ready? A rule, a table, a graph, and a tile pattern, figures 0 through 3, that follow the pattern. You may answer these questions in any order, but make sure you answer each one completely before starting another problem. Now, today we're doing pattern A. You need your handout that is included here or that's included in your packet. The handout has, um, it's just a piece of paper that says um, 4.1.5 resource page at the top, and you notice it's divided into four parts. It is a pattern, a graph, a table, and a rule. We're going to use that for what we're doing today. Got it? So please, if you don't have it, pause it. If you don't have it, um, if, if you just don't have it out, get it out. If you need to print it, print it. But you need the handout for this activity. If you don't have the handout, you can always do this on just regular graph paper. You'll probably want graph paper. That'd be easiest. Um, in fact, I'm going to require it to be on graph paper, all of it on graph paper, if you don't have the handout. Got it? OK, here we go. This is problem four, sorry, 442A. And all we're doing today is A. Now. 442A gives us two things. They give us this. We know figure number three looks like that. And we've got a graph. So what do I still need to do? If I need a rule, XY table, graph, and tile pattern figure zero to three, I need to do several things here. First of all, I'm going to come up with a rule. I need a table. And I need figures zero, one, and two to match up with all that information there. So let's, tack, let's, let's look at it. We have all the information we need here. Now, I'm going to start with the table. So my table, x and y, always x and y. x is always the figure number. And y is the tiles, Okay, the total number of tiles. So figure number, what do I know? Well, I'm going to go from 0 to 3. So 1, 2, 3. And I'm just going to keep going a little bit bigger there just to make sure. 0, 5. What do I know? Ooh, I know figure 3. And figure 3 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Figure 3 has 13 times. Can you, from that, fill out a little bit more information? What can you do? So here's my challenge for you. My challenge for you is, can you finish that table um, with just the information given? Can you finish that table? So please, and, and if you can, then can you tell me the rule? So see if you can do the table and the rule uh, without my help. If you need it, you can just continue going, just follow along with me. But if you think you can do it, please pause the video now and see if you got it on your own. Then when you're done, unpause it and follow along. All right, so let's see this. Let's see what's going on here. Now, I know figure three has 13 tiles. Now, figure three, if I look at my graph, I should be able to go up. Now, this graph is not on graph paper on purpose. Okay, so I can't quite tell exact numbers, but I do know, ooh, figure two has some, and right here has some, but it does, and, and I can't know exact numbers. I can have an approximate number, but I don't know for sure exactly where it falls. But I do know this. See this right here? This growth triangle, as we call it, this growth triangle tells me that I'm moving one on X and three on Y, which means... Every time I go one figure number, I'm growing by three. I'm adding three tiles. 
Well, if I know that, then I can go to my table and say for four, figure four, I would have 16. And then figure five, I'd have 19. Because I'm adding three every time. And then if I want to go backwards, that means I must subtract three, right? So that would make this 10, which kind of matches up with this. If you go to two, see this right here? Two is approximately 10, a little bit over the nine. And then take one, three off more, I get seven, which again matches up with this, because it seems to go to seven. And then figure zero would have four, which again seems to match up. Awesome, cool. All right, now if I've got my figure, can I figure out my rule? Now remember, the rules we talked about at y equals, and it should be y equals mx plus b, or m is your what? It's your growth. And B is your starting value or number of tiles in figure zero. So from that, hey, look, what's my, what's my growth? What am I growing by every time? Three. So Y equals 3X plus, how many figures are in figure zero? B, four. So 3X plus four. That's my rule. Awesome. So now what's left? Um, oh, what's left are the figures. So I need... Figures zero through three. Now I do have figure three up here, okay? So I don't need to redraw figure three, but I do need figures one, two, zero, one, and two. Um, so what you gonna do? What do you think? What do you think the figures would be? Now I'll be honest with you, there is some freedom here. There is some decision as to what you want to do here. But what is happening every time? We are adding three tiles every time. Now the question is, what tiles are added? I don't know. If this is figure three, you could say, well, maybe maybe these three tiles were added. So figure two would be everything that's left, right? Everything here, but not those three figures or those three tiles that were added there. So maybe you're saying that's what added. Or maybe you said, maybe, maybe these are the three tiles that were eliminated. And so figure two would be everything but those three tiles, okay? Uh, or maybe you said that these two plus one up here, and then the next one's these two plus one over here, and then these two plus one over here. So figure, you know, so it kind of depends on what you want to do. Really, now here's the one thing you cannot do. You can't say, well, I added these three, so then the next time, so I take those three off, and the next time I'm going to take away these three, and the next time I'm going to take away these three. No, it has to be a consistent pattern. Okay, you also can't say I'm going to take away these three and then I'll take away these three and then these three. No, it has to be something consistent. Okay, so you can take away these three, then these three, then these three, so that you would know figure four would just keep adding tiles on this way. Or maybe you could say it's this way and you're just adding tiles this way. However, you want to do it has to be consistent. Okay, so I'd like you to actually pause the video right now and determine. Actually, I, I don't want to. Um, tell you exactly what you do. So which pattern do you want to go with? Okay, so you decide, you do it, and you finish drawing figure zero to three. Um, so I don't care exactly where on your paper how you do it. Maybe you do, you know, I would recommend starting with figure three first if you want to. So figure three I maybe put down here and say it was a three by three right there. And then one, two, three, four. So there's my figure three. So then maybe I put my two, my one, and my zero, whatever. However you want to do it, but please go ahead and draw the rest of the figures. And that is it for today. So I do want you to, I expect you to finish that. Tomorrow when we come in, we're going to address three other challenge problems. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make a table, make sure they have a table, a graph, a rule, and figures zero through three. Got it? All right, please finish that by tomorrow. And I'll see you then. Have a good night.